Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another edition of Foodie Fridays. So for this Foodie Fridays, we are making carrot patch pudding cups. Just in time for Easter, this week and next week is all going to be Easter related, just in time for the holiday. And I thought these would be really cute for your kiddos. So I know so many of you have kiddos and are trying to do things in the kitchen with them. And I thought this would be a great way to incorporate the kids in the kitchen. So all you need for this recipe is simple ingredients. You're going to need some strawberries. And I'm going to tell you that this this recipe only made five pudding cups for us, so I'm going to tell you how much it's going to make five. So if you need more than five, double the recipe. So you're going to need some strawberries. I did not use that whole, you know, pint of strawberries there, but you're going to need some strawberries. You're going to need a large pack of the chocolate instant pudding. You're going to need 16 to 18 Oreos, and you're going to need some of the orange candy melts for the coating on the strawberries. Now I have two bags pictured. I only used one. So that's all you need for this recipe. Super Super easy ingredients, fun for the kids, and great for the holiday. All right, y'all, so the first thing we're going to do is take our candy melts, and I have mine on a double boiler. It's just a pot and then a glass bowl on top is how I do my double boiler. Put it on top on medium-high heat, and make sure you're moving it around so it does not stick or burn until it's all melted. After you have your candy coating melted, you're going to stick your strawberries in and you want to make sure that you try to get all of the red not showing on your strawberry because you want this to look like a carrot. So if you have any red showing, it's not going to look exactly like a carrot. So try to make sure the whole outside is covered as much as possible and put this on some parchment paper. I have a nonstick silicone sheet that I'm going to be putting mine on until you have them all covered up. While we have our strawberries in the refrigerator setting with that candy coating on them, we're going to go ahead and make our chocolate pudding. So just follow the recipe on the back of the box, let it sit for a few minutes and thicken up and you're good to go. We're going to go ahead and take our Oreos and I'm putting mine in a plastic bag and just taking the back of a bottle opener and I'm crushing mine until they are fine and looks like dirt. Now we're going to go ahead and assemble our cups. So you're going to take your cups and I got these cups from the Dollar Tree. So I think you get 10 in there for a buck. You're going to take your dirt or your Oreo mixture and put a little layer on the bottom first. Then we're going to take our pudding mixture and spoon it on for the middle. And then I'm going to put some more dirt on top. Now that our strawberries have set with our candy coating on top and our pudding and all looks good, I'm going to dig just a little hole there so I can stick my carrot in the middle so it looks like a carrot just sticking out of the garden patch in the dirt. Mm -hmm. 
All right, y'all, so here's the final product. Here is our carrot patch pudding cups, all assembled and ready to go. Like I said, it made five for us, and my kiddos actually have not tried these yet. I made them the other night, and they've been eating big dinners, and it's been time for dessert, and they're just not wanting to eat dessert yet. So I'm hoping that they can dig into these here soon, maybe Friday or Saturday night, because they haven't tried them yet. But my mother-in-law did take one home with her, and she said it was great. Um, anytime you add chocolate pudding and Oreo, together plus a chocolate covered strawberry. I mean, it's a win in my book anyway. So these don't have to just be for kids. They can be for adults too, for a nice little treat, but it's also something cute to take for an Easter gathering on Easter Sunday, or if you're having some type of party, it's just a really nice addition and really quick and actually really cheap. So that's why I love this recipe too. And your kids can assemble these pudding cups. That would be a fun thing to do with your kids in the kitchen if they're old enough to do that. Mine are still a little bit too young for that, but I know when Whalen gets older, this will be nice to add for us to do together in the kitchen. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying the Foodie Fridays and if you're enjoying the Easter recipes because next week I'm gonna give you a heads up. I'm gonna be making a Peeps garden cake. So a nice little cute decorated Easter theme cake that you can take to your family gathering on Easter as well. And that'll be coming to you on Good Friday, just in time for the Easter celebration. Please hit that subscribe button if you're not with us already, because we'd love to have you part of the YouTube family and make sure that notification bell is clicked every time I upload a Foodie Fridays at eight central time on Friday mornings. Y'all have a great Friday, a wonderful weekend, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks so much. Love you guys. Bye.